what's going on guys welcome to another video so for today's app script uh, episode we will be uh, covering in terms of uh, duplicates remove removal from your spreadsheet but of course as we all know there is already a function a function that you can uh, use to remove duplicates in spreadsheet but as usual there's always a an alternative uh, way of doing it and for this time we are using google apps script so sit back enjoy and without further ado let's check it out all right guys so just a quick one uh i don't plan to make this long so anyways let's say i have the set of data here and of course uh, normally what you would do to remove duplicates is you can actually go to data and under data cleanup there is a cleanup suggestions remove duplicates and trim white space so what normally you would do is you will go to remove duplicates and please select a range of cells containing values so of course you can select and from here when you click remove duplicates um, once you click remove duplicates it will remove those duplicates but there is also another way uh, alternative way is to use google app script and this is just an optional method again not to say that this is not something that you can do directly from spreadsheet you can but this is for the bold and daring <laughs> okay so if I were to go to my app script and the extensions here and we'll just run through it real quick I have this script ready for you and don't not to worry we won't go one by one this will take an hour to do so but you can get this code in our script in the description down below okay so once you save the project and run and giving the necessary permission you will have a custom menu called dupe checker it stands for duplicate checker and of course in this menu itself it will have two functions which is to highlight the duplicates and of course to remove them and the first two is to highlight the single column duplicates and the second one is to highlight the multiple column duplicates and removing them so going with the first one if i were to highlight the duplicate similar to what spreadsheet has is to highlight the column so let's say if i were to highlight column d sorry let me try this again column d <clears throat> make sure it's in capital so you would see the value of apple has three additional occurrences cherry has one additional banana has one date has one one additional occurrences means it's an addition plus from the original data say for example for apple there has it has three additional occurrences means to say there's four apple in column three but there's three duplicates means to say so let's see one two three and four so the ones with additional occurrences will be highlighted in yellow and of course uh, if i were to remove them just simply reinsert the column name it can be any column is fine and it will remove them so now apple has one uh, unique in column three same goes to other duplicates that we saw earlier okay so maybe another scenario would be this is very common for attendance per se let's say the employee has uh, marked uh, their attendance for this particular date but sometimes they might have marked the attendance more than once or due to many other transactions to de define that that person is present so you might end up with having multiple duplicates for that same date for that same person 
So of course, this is where the second function that we can use to highlight the multi-column duplicates. Okay. Again, we just want to see which uh, uh, duplicates are happening. What are the duplicates that's happening in our data? So let's say I'm taking B and C stands for the employee name and date. Okay. So if I click OK, now you see that's quite a number of duplicates you can see. So Jane Smith for Monday, January 1, January, January 1st of January has two additional and same goes to the rest, respectively. Now, if I were to click OK, you would see the duplicates that's happening. Okay. So of course, if I were to remove multi-column duplicates, let's say B and C, it will only remain the unique data. So as you can see, John Doe is on the first, John Doe is on the second, John Doe is on the third, and same goes to the rest. So there's no longer any duplicates in this particular attendance data. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a rather simple one, I guess. But this is uh, just to show you that App Script is very powerful in a way. Uh, it breaks boundaries. It goes beyond uh, basic or native capabilities of any uh, applications you have within Google Workspace. We will be covering more on other uh, workspace aspects like PowerPoint, uh, sorry, um, Google Slides uh, and documents and the likes of it. But if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like if you find this useful. And don't forget to subscribe to see more contents like this. So until the next one, take care. Bye bye.